Y'all don't remember how I does this? Good. I'm going to remind you. It's been a while since I ranted. I had a good time, too. If you love me that time, today, I'm that times two. I work on my time to address bullshit when it's time to. And it's time to. This is not an insult to the superstar creators, as it says at the top there. Celebrating Black History Month with all-star creators. I wouldn't call them all-star creators. Not at all. But I also wouldn't say that they're celebrating Black History Month. I would say that they are highlighting their black failures. This whole book from the beginning, from the cover page, where we got the new warrior, Night Thrasher, and when the last time he was in a comic book, Monica Rambeau. When's the last time Monica had a solo series? She was on the team Ultimates. If you want to go back to 2018 Avengers No Road Home, she was featured there, wasn't she? Is she really a mainstay anywhere? She's getting beat up in Captain Marvel right now, if you read that ongoing series, but she doesn't have a place. Sam Wilson regressing from the Falcon character to be Captain America again. My problems with that, you've heard, movies should not be something that you're following. Movies should be following the comic books, so don't ever regress this character because of what's happening on the films. Keep him going forward, and then one day the movies will adapt what you're doing in 2022. Storm, look, Black Panther and Miles. Those are the three characters I will give Marvel, and they are successfully uh, featuring them in comics. Two of these guys have solos. Miles Morales, Spider-Man, Black Panther. Storm is on enough teams of the X-Men. She's well-featured and, and a successful thing worth celebrating. The others are not. So no, I'm not insulting the creators as I started. This is something that is wrong with Marvel, the company, during 11 other months. Every story in here, fine every story in here is cool look this is what sam's doing in harlem and it's pretty interesting of a story here's a little introduction there's a whole bunch of these one pagers where they talk about t'challa the one pager about spectrum about a monica rambeau that's cool uplifting she explains who she is the reason behind her name you got um a example for the kids it's all one page and it's all successfully, you know, it, it, it's a highlight. It's a showcase of her. It's warm, it's moving, and it's touching. So no, the artwork is not a problem, and the person writing the story isn't a problem. But what's happening here is they plastered, oh, it's February, got to make these guys buy this comic book, make it seem like we're just making a gesture that makes it look like we're doing something when, in fact, you're not. You didn't have, hire a whole bunch of smart all-star artists. You didn't continue the story that you did a year ago. This is the third Black History Month Marvel voices that they're doing. <laughs> Even though it says an issue number one there, we can ignore that part. How about a story that would have continued? What, how rewarding would it have been if that first month I saw a villain who did something to all the heroes and they're like, oh no, we got to team up. T'Challa, uh, let's meet up at Avengers Mountain. Okay, who's there? I got Monica Rambeau here actually. Great, perfect timing. Here comes Storm because she's married to T'Challa and we had a team up. They beat this villain and then he leaves. A year later, oh, that villain's acting up again because he's back now and this time he's after Ironheart and you feel me? Like, what if this was a continuous story? No, because then thought would have been put into it. These are makeshift, laugh, makeshift last minute stories that they put in here. Uh, they, they make phone calls to all of the celebrities that will answer and I guess Charlemagne turned them down and uh, freaking the guys from Black Eyed Peas turned them down. They're, they're the go-tos. And they go, voila, we're being not racist and we Marvel voices. And there's there's the woman voices. There's there's a lot of underrepresented heroes who get their shine. But why are they underrepresented? You're the Marvel. You guys are the guys who... There should be no reason anymore to have a Marvel voices because it should just be... Whoa, it turns out that we have uh, in our top 20 characters, there's enough diversity here. It's not just a whiteboard. Top 20 characters? T'Challa, Storm. They would be in the top 20 of Marvel. You'd have to argue for Miles. You'd have to argue for Blade. You'd have to argue for Bishop or Monica Rambeau. And then, I don't know if they cracked the top 20. They don't have solos. Luke Cage, that guy had a three-part issue, three-issue story. That was canceled a month ago. Where is he going to pop up next? Moon Girl. Her book stopped. And she's for kids. So she is different. But she is for kids. Her book was advertised. It's coming in February. It didn't come. It's February. So it got kind of delayed and pushed back. We can blame COVID. But we can blame COVID for anything. I don't feel like this is a, you know, a let's go through the stories. Though. 
let's go through each one of them because uh there's some good stuff in here consequential probably not is it it is an anthology after all if you want to hear my thoughts on anthologies i go into it super heavy when i was talking to mike in the video with rogue comics the first story is the black panther story nothing too special over here the next one is falcon he's just chilling in harlem old man's talking to him oh no i gotta beat up taskmaster for a second and taskmaster's after misty knight that's the story there Misty Knight, remember her? She was featured in Captain America a couple times. She never has a main comic of her own. It's Misty Knight, but she's in this comic. The next story is Misty Knight and Luke Cage in The Coolest. So one pager. Then we get the long one. Wanna play? It's a Princess Shuri story. And it's movie Shuri. It's a long one. I, I honestly didn't read most of it because I saw the artwork, the simple artwork. What happened? I thought it was all-star artists. I didn't like it. It's not my type of cup of tea. Of course, art is subjective and everything. I'll get to it. I bought the book, so I will have to read it. Hmm. There's a long interview that comes next. I do like the image over there of the barbershop with all the heroes. That was really cool. I guess I'll have to read that one later. Uh, the Monica Rambeau one-pager, which was an awesome, touching, moving story. Cecilia Reyes <laughs> from the X-Men. You can tell... A 1,000 word essay about who the X Men are and skip her. A 3,000 word essay and not use her. But she was worth celebrating here. To me, it was, oh yeah, she's a thing. She pops up. If the X Men didn't have 14 comic books a month, then she probably wouldn't pop up, but she pops up here. Next story Moon Girl, Crossboro Caper. Welcome to the Bronx. It's Moon Girl. It's cute. There's this really smart dinosaur named Mel. It's a heterodontosaurus. Moon girl makes it home for dinner and she's talking to her parents and she's just a regular girl with extraordinary experiences. Now we get to this character named Bruna. Are you with an accent? And A, the Valkyrie. I skipped this. I said this. Valkyries already know their place. And it's not Jane Foster, the Valkyrie. It's not the Broomhilda Valkyrie. It's Bruna. I have to check out where she first appeared. And it was only like a year ago. This is not a character. I feel like I should invest the one, two, three, four pages of five, six, seven pages until the end. There's seven pages of this character. And I just looked at the art and I said, cool. She's a Valkyrie. They say at the end that they tease her as she'll be important. I don't know about that. Blue Marvel, strongest hero that there is any matter explains who he is and it got to the ending which is the one page story it got to the ending and i go where the hell is his book why did you make this guy if you we weren't going to use him after the first time there's only one a series about the blue marvel called blue marvel on marvel unlimited at least and uh yeah that was in 2009 why make him if you're not going to use him he was in the ultimates and uh, like monica he was in avengers no road home but where is he here's this Long as the uh, you know list of characters, the new class, as it says, not many of them are impressive. Oh my god, mosaic over here. This guy over here, mosaic. Man, if the inhumans took off, they tried. They gave him a solo, they invented a new character. It didn't take off, unfortunately. There's Strange Academy, what's her name? Shaylee Moonpedal. I think that one has potential. That's not someone I'd given up on. I love the honorable mention here of one of the children of the Atom who first debuted in a marvel voices so that's supposed to be like a key comic the marvel voices from two years ago first appeared there that's like oh it's valuable it's first time they showed up but since then where are they exactly one other detriment of this comic book series marvel voices is that they had three of them now and we get to look at the old ones to see did anything that happened in these marvel voices pages matter today did i need to read any of that to understand what's happening now has an, a book now referenced something that happened in Marvel Voices? And the short answer is no. You're spending $6 for nothing stories, okay? And that's not a highlight. This is, this is trash in my hands. And it's not because the writers and artists. It's because Marvel, the company, are not going to do anything with these characters for another 12 months. How do I know that? The prior 12 months. It's very simple, guys. If you if you feel that there's value in this comic book, I want to hear what you have to say. Leave a comment. Tell me that I'm wrong. Tell me that 
the black community as a whole has been uplifted thanks to Marvel Voices number one, just by a little bit. Marvel Voices legacy, I should say. This is utter garbage. I can't support this. You know what I can support? A Monica Rambeau book. So when that book does come, I reckon right about when Captain Marvel 2 is in movie theaters, they'll release that that book. But Monica Rambeau, definitely someone worth getting behind. A, a Luke Cage, definitely someone we know that the movies have, or the film Netflix series, they've used Luke Cage. Someone we can get behind. I'll pay money. I'll drop money to go get behind those two characters. Anyone else? They're this. They're there for attendance. This book was attendance class. Here, Africa. Here, uh, Staten Island. Here, uh, Harlem. Here. That's that. This was attendance. We just spent six dollars on attendance, and I spent that six dollars so I can talk about it here and show show you guys that this isn't progression or a celebration as it's being advertised to be. This is sadness. This is a reminder that we have. Let me go to the last page. There were 10, 12 characters here. 12 pictures of 12 characters who are not main eventers. Captain Universe. I'll read them all. Captain Universe, Sun Girl, Moon Girl, Dora Milaje, Ayo, Mosaic, Ironheart, Riri Bloom. That, that one's not true. She's a main eventer. Seven, Patriot, Rayshawn Lucas. There was two Patriots. Uh, Tiana Toon Starling. She's new. She popped up in the Champions, but she, no one's doing anything with her. You're just doing it because Liz from Spider-Man Homecoming. Come on. Zoe Laveau, Shaylee Moonpetal from The Strange Academy. They have promise, but they are in a team book. You can't give them too much credit for the success of Strange Academy. And by success, I mean it didn't go 12 issues and canceled. Carmen Maria Cruz is gimmick from, from from Children of the Atom. And then there's Runa, the Valkyrie, who was created in King in Black, Return of the Valkyries, a tie-in series for the event King in Black that happened in 2021. Too early to tell, but it, it is a Valkyrie, and she's not the main Valkyrie. Honorable mention to Cherub, yes, the, the guy who was not actually a mutant. These are the characters. This is pathetic. That You're celebrating that? Marvel do better. Instead of focusing, instead of having a whole bunch of characters that you're trying to pretend you care about, let's focus and concentrate on one. Let's have the whole, if you care, if you care, have the whole line of comic book writers and artists know that we are heavy on Monica Rambeau being treated like a main character. Think of her the same way you think of Iron Man and the same way you think of Hulk. If we can do that with Monica Rambeau and all the readers reading the Marvel comics will hear Monica Rambeau's name and it'll have a reverence. It'll, it'll be a, a main eventer. That's a way to elevate a character. Then it doesn't look so bad. The quantity of all of your characters, the quantity is not a celebration. It's not. Hooray, you made a new one last week and doesn't matter. It's not sustainable. It's, uh, it's empty. Make Black Panther higher in the top 10 make um make Sam Wilson his own guy make him Falcon please utter trash if you're into women <laughs> I don't know the women of Marvel is a comic book that's coming next month because March 8th is women's appreciation day I know that because that's the day Captain Marvel came out on women's day International Women's Day. Thumbs up for International Women's Day. That's the video. If you want to hear a long, long, long ass video, talking to Mike from Rogue Comics in Bridgeport, that's this. If you want to watch 33 Burning Questions, watch this over here. Je suis un bon gars. Out of here.